right next to the microwave and look at it 300 to 400 milliwatts per meter squared all right there you go right there 450 milliwatts meter squared <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today, you've tuned in live to Head to Tech Live, where we tend to ramble for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and hours, and hours on end about stuff about tech. Today's episode is gonna be pretty short, just like Apple's October event, very short. What did you think of it? I'm gonna give it to the cut. Um, okay. Cut the cut of notes. What would you think? Come on, be um, honest with the people. You know They're what? tuned in. I, I They're think... busy, they wanna know. I think one word for it was underwhelming. Really? Mm. Oh man, I, I was so excited about it. Look, I, I got some notes. I wrote it all whoa, out. Yeah, whoa, whoa. some some amazing, amazing stuff happening. So we're going to be talking to you today all about the new iPhone 12 event. I mean, I got got to first say I'm a bit disappointed. There was nothing with Max. I don't know why. Every single day I go to MacRumors.com and I get excited about Mac rumors, and then I find out that it's always a disappointment. There has nothing been going on with the world of Mac. So what do you guys think about that? And let me know if you're tuning in live with the show. Leave a comment, let us know where in the world you're tuning in right now. We are in Australia, it's 5 a.m. Yes. Like, I woke up and I watched the event and I was, yeah. There's a lot, a lot of zooming in, a lot of zooming out, a lot of 5G, a lot of, lot, lot of, a lot, lot of nothing happened. But it's cool, some notes. So, should we start the show? What do you I, think? I think so, I should just rock and roll. Okay, I'm just, I've taken some screenshots just to show you what's going on. This is the first scene I want to show you. It's actually pretty cool. Now. The microphone didn't record, but basically Siri, it's got an amazing new feature called Intercom. And look, as a parent, you can just say, hey Siri, tell my daughter what's up. And she'll say, yeah, I'm on the way to the car. None of that happens in real life, of course. <laughs> never, never happens in real life. Actually, I don't think anyone saw what? that. I'm gonna show you, show you guys again. Here's, here's the scene in the camera. Look, this, the dude, he's walking past. He just says, hey Siri, tell my daughter we're leaving. And she says, yes, daddy, we're leaving. And everyone's happy, especially the sales lady. She's happy as well. Now, why is that a lie? Because we all have this. <laughs> we all text each other or we like tell, and also, I don't know about you, but I think the families don't really go out often as a whole. <laughs> okay, family. I'll tell you why it's a lie. <laughs> what one, hey Siri doesn't work. It's annoying, it's rubbish, it doesn't work like that. You'll say, hey Siri, and it gets it wrong. And number two, no kid in the world ever says, yes, dad, I'm coming right away. Yeah. No one knows, I'll thank, thank you for disturbing me from using my phone, Instagramming and posting Snapchat, bad TikTok. stuff on the internet and doing bad stuff. No, no, no one ever says, says it's always like this, like, hey, give me a minute, leave me alone, shut up, you yes, know, Papa, I'm working. And, and, and you can't do anything as a parent to your kids, otherwise child services comes to play. Yeah, I learned that today in Australia. You, yeah. can't, you can't beat your kids, I can't believe it. But you can't beat your kids anywhere. Yeah, think. I got beat up. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't beat your kids Life back has then. Changed, man. <laughs> Life well, is let me know. Like, just be honest. Did you get beat up by your parents, or did you get beat up by your parents? It's, it's not a shameful thing. I got beat up. I got, I got, I got, I got this. We call this uh, the ship ship. You know, this is how I got taught my manners. You know, <laughs> the. You need a bit of and you can judge for yourselves <laughs> how it ended up. <laughs> All right, Ash, let's stay on topic because we need oh, to get I, through some stuff. I'll, I'll some stuff. Okay, cool. So yeah, Intercom, HomePod. Obviously, no one cares about HomePod. They got a HomePod Mini. Interestingly enough, Apple, the millionaire, sorry, the, the multi-trillionaire company now, not just a trillionaire, the multi-trillionaire company, oh. they're connecting with the end demographics and they know that Siri is going to be listening to you. Like if you say, hey Siri, what time does Siri close? It automatically auto-navigates in your car phone to go to the locus, loca, the closest, the locus, 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 locus the closest local. target shop. So they've connected with you. Wow. There's no, it's not Maya, it's not David Jones, it's not Macy's, it's Target. Target is the shop. Target. Yeah, what do you think mm -hmm. of car, Target? I like Target. It's you cool you like Target? I like Target. Yeah, but we're cheap, we're that's why. Yeah, if I'm getting an iPhone 12, I'm really shopping at Target. Think. It's a good point because the iPhone 12 <laughs> is very expensive, but we'll get onto that later. <laughs> and oh, this is the good stuff. It is official. iPhone it is out and it's got 5G everywhere. I should have taken a clip of how many times it said 5G. Oh, no. Lucky oh, no. for us, 5G is going to be on every single edition of the iPhone, the iPhone mini, the iPhone pro, the iPhone 
Am I even showing the screen correctly? I'm not even showing no, the screen. So the screen's right here. You, Ash, we need to look so at the screen. 200 million people, 1,800 cities and towns only in America getting 5G and it's ultra, ultra wide man 5G. It's the good stuff. Good goes stuff. four gigabits per second. That is faster than my, my current wow. Wi-Fi. It's so fast. Wow. It's got 200 megabits a second uploads. I mean, these are ideal conditions. It's not going to go that fast, probably. And it's... 5G is the most exciting step yet, and uh, it's going to be awesome. Now, the one thing I didn't enjoy about this one is the social distancing rules Apple did practice in their live events. Like, they had some serious distance. They had some serious distance, and they were wearing... Well, I had a disclaimer at the end of the show saying that they all wear... Uh, they all wore face coverings at the presenter. They all washed their hands. They were in keeping with the laws of the current state that they were in. So that was quite interesting. And look Good at look. this there. We had the amazing presentation. This one was talking about that they've actually redesigned the antennas to make 5G run super fast and super awesome. And obviously we know what happened last time. Apple redesigned their antennas. What happened, what happened last time? What happened last time? Well, remember, you know, you're holding your phone wrong. Remember oh, that antenna gate, the iPhone 4G? Oh my God. I remember forgot. the iPhone 4? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and it was the exact same design. Uh, the iPhone 4 is the exact same design as the iPhone 12. Well, let's just see what happens. I can't wait. Every time the Apple iPhones, Apple iPhones are released, there's always like something wrong with them. So perhaps you're on it this time. No, I don't want it to be wrong. Please, for this one, I don't want anything <laughs> coming wrong. They've got ceramic glass now. What do you think of ceramic? I, I think it's cool. Like ceramic glass is supposed to be good. I, I be, I'm quite happy with that move because quite frankly, phones do crack very easily. I've had a phone that cracked when I just dropped on some, like a hard floor. So if, for example, I drop my floor and it drop my phone and it doesn't crack, I'll be quite happy. Okay. But in saying that, Ash, okay. if you do have Apple Care, you can get your phone screen fixed for like a nominal amount of money. So, uh, you know, it's, it's all right. I... Um, I'm just excited because they said it's four times better drop performance. I'd love to be the tester, just oh. <laughs> smashing phones. Yeah, <laughs> not, so not, not twice as good, not two and a half, not, four not, times. not five. Four it's not times. five times as good. It's only four times as good. And one thing this uh, Arnus Mateus said that it's got smart, smart stuff to do with the 5G. I'm taking it in notes that they told me. They said that 5G kills your battery life. Yeah. So it automatically toggles it down to LTE whenever it can, whenever you're not downloading. So that was pretty interesting. And it has the most 5G bands of any smartphone. See Apple, they're known for iTunes, they're known for Apple Music, they're known for the amount of bands they give you in the music. And they've taken garage that- Garage band. <laughs> your garage band. They've taken that to the next level 5G and they have the smallest 5G phone in the world, the iPhone mini. I mean, are you guys just excited about this? Look, yeah. come on, check it out. You've got Bell, you've got China Telecom, you've got Unicom, you've got China Mobile, you've got T-Mobile, everything everywhere. You've got SoftBank, Verizon, you know, all the carriers, 100 carriers are going to be sporting this stuff. That's it's going to be amazing. Huge, and this is actually my favorite scene of the whole show. Like, there's a new character in League of Legends and hopefully they're going to show it. Oh, it's not this one. No. Did I, oh, where's, 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 the, where's the screenshot? You got the he deleted the oh, I deleted oh, it. There's Ash. a new character Ash. in League of Legends. It's called Ash, and she's looking good. Like, you yeah, had a bit of an yeah. enhancement. I had, I, had, I had an enhancement. <laughs> you had some feminine enhancements. I had an enhancement, so I looked pretty good there. You look pretty good. Pretty good. Surgeon. And what was funny about that scene over there is they were talking about, let me just get the actual quote, it's off the chart performance, wicked fast speeds, and it's dope. And even the presenter lady was saying, thanks, I'm so excited to be playing League of Legends. Do you think like they talk a little bit outside of their age group? It's not that. that it's like I saw the lady. I saw what she was wearing. She was wearing a suit. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's supposed to connect with the kids, but they really yeah, but like, didn't. Uh, it's, uh, that was tough. I don't care that she's wearing a suit. I just care that is this the person that's going to be wearing? Is this the person that's going to be playing League of Legends? Like, do you do you see this person? I playing, doubt it. Like, I doubt. Nah. That. Well, she might. You know, she might just get changed into her. Like, you know. Oh, cosplay, cosplay, it, Hall it Halloween be. is yeah. coming up, there Halloween you go, there you up. go. Off the chart, performance, wicked fast wow. speed, and regarding the speeds, the camera, Woo! 27, not 26, not 25, not 24, not 28, unfortunately they couldn't make it 28, but 27% better. <laughs> computational photography, computational, it can I just say, computational, it? Yeah. like, that's, that's always been the case, <laughs> photography <laughs> via computers, right? I think they're just pretty much saying that it's fake photos. They're going to Photoshop every single picture that's coming out of the phone. Wow. But they've done that since whenever. Done it for a while. HDR, that's computational. Computational. And um, this is cool. Official. I've got proof coming up here. The iPhone's camera. It yes. can dry 
up close. Yeah. If you guys thought I was faking it, if you guys thought I'm not telling you the truth, I got official 100% proof. Life on camera can make it close. Right? Do you believe me? Yes. No, I don't. Oh, I she don't, don't believe me. Do you guys believe me? How can a phone make your clothes dry? Okay, I'm going to show you. Just, just well, how? Okay, look Tell at this. Me. Official or seen. These guys, they got married. God bless them. Or whoever you believe in, you know, whoever bless them or don't bless them. But look, check it out. They jumped into the water. Officially proof. Whoa. Jump, jump. 100% in the water. Yep. And five seconds later, boom. They're they dry. are dry. What? They're dry. 100% dry. Do you dry. know what I think it is? I think it might be all of the 5G <laughs> <laughs> creating so much heat and then they're just like using their phones to tell their parents that they got married. That's a joke, right? Go on, go on. I'm playing with you guys. Uh, the, with the, you the guys. phone actually gives you a barrier against the water. Like, oh, that's pretty cool. That, that was, Imagine that, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <sighs> you cannot go near me. <laughs> Furthermore, uh, you know, maybe I'll, just, I'll run through the screenshots because there's some killer screenshots that's that I showed killer, you. Killer. So, they are officially, this lady's so happy, she went on the roof of our hall just to announce Can this. Can you imagine how scared she must have been? Like, I'm scared of heights. Because I noticed this, she didn't move once. Like, she was like on her, like, stand there stationary. I think I would have been pretty scared, like, on top of this big roof thing. And lucky they got a, a placement for her to stand on without being on the solar panels. That's, that's pretty good. But she is so happy and excited. They are now giving you the privilege. They're so excited about this one. They're hoping everyone follow. They're now giving you the privilege of buying your own charger oh. and headphones with a phone. No longer can you use your old charger. You, can, uh, you now have to uh, buy your new ones and she's happy about it. She's like, yeah, I found a way to make money. It's really sad. <laughs> no, I have it's to good. say, like, save the environment. I used to, okay, Do you not like the environment? I like the environment, oh, look at that. but I also really liked getting like a little present with my iPhone, like the, the brand new headphones, because who wants to pick up your old headphones if they're on to your new phone? Like, you just don't want to do that. You know, you know what I always did with my Samsung phones, no offense, iPhone people? I used to always sell the headphones that came with it for $50. There you go. Yeah, I did that money. on eBay, I used to make money. Well, you make and you, yeah. I kept all my old chargers, so because you always need devices to you charge. You always need chargers. If you're going abroad, if you leave in somewhere, or you're going to someone else's house, you need a charger. So I feel pretty sad about that, I have to say, Ash. I'm a bit upset that they've taken out the headphone charges. What do you guys think? I would love to know. Are you guys on my team or are you on your, on your team? My team? Yeah, I want well, to save the environment. You know what I mean? I'm always yeah. cleaning up. I'm always yeah, recycling, okay. you know, okay. chopping, trimming down hedges and going to the green centre. And look at that. He's praying that you buy the charges. Like, please. <laughs> please. Do you remember when they, like, had the dongle that you had to buy? Ages ago. Remember to yeah. change the microphone? It cost like $70 to have us into the microphone. That was like two years ago. <laughs> Actually, there might be some new people in the world. One thing I say is, the iPhone, the 12, look at it. It looks gorgeous, but it probably looks like rubbish with a case on. Look at that case. It's plastic. It's not fantastic. doesn't look good. I mean, you guys are excited about this design. Are you, are you? I'm, I'm, well, you know what? Everyone on the live chat is pretty excited. But oh, we'll get really? into that in a moment. Oh, man. Why, why, why are you excited about it? Sorry, I'm, I'm getting old. I think that's it. I've got too much on my plate. I mean, I'll show you some of the... Some of the oh, let me see if I can get it on the scene. I've got all of this... Oh, all of this stuff I need to do. Wow. This is going to be essential for the iPhone. You're gonna, I'm going to actually unbox this live with you guys Woo! here. I can't wait. This got some stuff I need to do. Oh this my God, is so, a laptop like cooling stand. This guy here, look, Netgear business. I've got a full-on, is it switch or router? Wow. So I can route some, I'm trying to ethern out my house. You know, put some 10 gigabit, you know, connectivity. Wow. Got wow. a lot on my plate, I'm building a fence. I'm painting a fence. I'm doing a lot of housework. I'm trying to get the ducks <laughs> to stop pooping in my pool. Like, I, I got a bit of a cold today because I was out last night because the, the pool cleaner, the automatic pool cleaner was making this weird noise. It turned, I don't know anything about pools, basically I'm learning about the world. Turns out that I, my pool is underfilled so it was making this squealing sound. I fixed that up. Yeah, there's a lot in my, my head right now. So when it comes to um, buying an iPhone 4 that's now got 5G, it's, it doesn't, the magic has been lost with me. I was looking forward to the ARM Max, but you know, that's not happening. But forget that. Come what? on. 47% larger camera sensor. Wow. wow. That is going to have oh, some impact, surely. No, that's, that's, 40, that's pretty cool, right? 47% that's good. larger. That should make the images a lot better, right? right More sure. light on the, the sensor. I don't know how they fit that, that's pretty good. Because mm. the, the camera quality of the iPhone it's good anyway. was bombastic. Now it's going to be boom bombastic. A boom boom boom. I'm excited about that because all the TV shows in America, they're in lockdown, so they're having to use their iPhones to film stuff. So they're taking it seriously. Mm. This guy's really happy about it. He's so happy. 
He's even got like not one Mac Pro, but he's got two Mac Pros. He's got Mac Pro here, there, and everywhere. He's got you, you kind of yeah, like the screens, I, I, right? I like the screen. I actually kind of missed that look because I remember you had a Mac, a Mac Pro, right? Or what's it called? A Mac Unit? What's it called? Mac Pro? Yeah, Mac yeah, Pro. Yeah, Mac Pro. And so like I really like that kind of cheese grater effect. I kind of missed it. It made me giggle anyway. <laughs> what, what was interesting is it looks like they're still using the Mac Pro in their studio office where they film advertising videos for the iPhone. So that's pretty yeah, good. They haven't replaced it yet with the Iron Max, mm, or is it sad? One thing I did love is the amount of takes this guy did. There was like lots of B shots all the time. Like that B shot, every single time a B shot happens means that you made a mistake and you're dubbing over the lines. Because if you don't make a mistake, you can just continue talking and talking and talking. But when you make a mistake, I do it all the time in my videos. Whenever there's like a, a cut scene, a scene on top of someone talking, that means there's been an edit. And what you need to look at is in this video, it was really cool. There's this guy over here. He's in the background. I don't know if you can He's see him. Like you gotta look at the guy yeah. in the background. He's pretending to work. So yeah. every single take that they took, he had to sit there pretending to You're work. just flicking through photos. <laughs> <laughs> but he got his moment in the sun. Look at this, look at this. When this guy walked off, when this guy walked off, he Yay! Gave... Yay! <laughs> <laughs> My time to shine. I get to come He's out like, now. <laughs> Imagine how many takes it must take, like take one, take two, take three, take and four. And imagine, imagine if you forgot to stand up. Oh, I know. That's yeah, like, yeah. You came yeah. out too late or came out too early. <laughs> to honestly, I wasn't paying attention to what he was saying. He's pretty much just saying like, oh yeah, it's faster, it's better and all that stuff. This guy's saying, look, you can now... Um, Be a magician. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, what's with a magician? He's, col me. he's color grading oh, the footage okay. in a video editing application. And then all of a sudden, they showed that this is, this is, this is them professionally color grading. Yeah. And for the iPhone, this is how they color grade. Look, yay, you tap on the screen. <laughs> exact same. Look, this guy doing all these complicated all this tweaks. Five screens. There you go. You get to pick you just a, press the brightness up and down. <laughs> you pick a filter. <laughs> yeah, definitely quite the same. There you go, the iPhone, officially, officially a professional color grading machine. You it's, just tap on the screen with a filter. Yeah, it's pretty cool if it works. That would be, uh, taps yep, off to them. Yep, they could yep. do that. That's um, hundred percent. A lot of people will lose their jobs if they manage to do that. Jo oh, no. Could you imagine? Apple, <laughs> trillion dollar. Oh, you, uh, oh, I don't need uh, you anymore. I can just change it on my filter. Apple, we really lost our jobs, mate. <laughs> no, 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 put out business. Or maybe new entrepreneurs will be coming into the scene. And before I get through the last slides, you've been saying someone's asking something. Oh my God, Ash, it has been like so busy. Okay, what's up going on? This what is going on? Section, on. Right. Like, I don't even know where to start. Oh, there's a lot but of Tom Ash is saying there's hello, a lot of guys. rainbows. Yeah, loads of stuff going on. Um, someone says, is it worth upgrading from the 11 Pro Max to the 12 Pro Max 9 or Mini 12 is best bet? Wow. You know, if you're struggling with those kind of decisions in life, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you need the upgrade. <laughs> it sounds like you need that, was it 5G? Do you have a 5G carrier? Go for it. 47% larger sensor. Are you a good looking fella? If so, definitely get it and 27% better camera. You can now, you can now download CAT scans. Oh yeah, that yeah, was crazy. You can download CAT scans on your iPhone. I mean, you could do that anyway, but now because of 5G. You can just scroll through the images. You, 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 could, know, you could have done that anyway. Like, but when in time are you ever gonna really need that? Like you'd hope that in life you'd only really have like one or two maybe. CAT scans, you're not exactly going to be doing it every week because there is a radiation risk to that. But anyway, nonetheless. No, 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 just that. I just want to say, you, is it worth the iPhone? Well, can your iPhone 11 Pro do this? Now, I've just got to show you this. This is official. I'm going to break it to you. Okay. The iPhone 12 can fly. You don't, you don't believe me? Go on. You don't, don't believe at official advertising on. on the actual How video? Can okay, fly? Look, you don't believe me. Look How? at this. Official presentation here. What is going on? This was filmed on an iPhone. See, look, filmed on an iPhone in the dark. On film. Filmed in the dark. Look, horse racing, elevated. Okay, maybe someone was holding the phone up high. Mm. Film, film, okay. What is, what, 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 you saw that? You saw it? Did you see that? I did see that. I have to say, it's got a really good gimbal when it flies as well. It's just like holding and tracks. That's, um, that might be worth getting just by itself. Like, it must have retractable arms. <laughs> <laughs> the iPhone 12 with arms. Oh, and God. finally, I've got taken a picture here. 
Apple, very, very nice. They've respected daily health screenings, temperature checks, periodic testing was provided for pres presenters, cast and crew. They're taking this stuff seriously. They have. They're not, they're not, they're not, not messing around. That's the iPhone 12 event. Unfortunately, there is no new Macs, no ARMS. And uh, the highlight feature is it's got a better camera and it's got 5G. Yeah, there buy. Buy, buy now. Is but that... who, who is pre-ordering it? I want to know. Are you going to pre-order it? Me. Yeah. Why? I might just make you pre-order it because Why? I kind of want to test out the camera, that kind of stuff, the antennas. Yeah, I think we're going to have to pre-order it. I'm sorry, Ash. I want to know. What do you guys think in the comments section? Oh, Let me know goodness. what's going let's, on. Let's, let's going jump on. over I to the comments now, Ash. Um, we've got the loneliest, loneliest Max says, wait before you bite. Why? 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 Why, you Why wait? Why? Why, Why wait? won't you say Tell that? Me. Um, Tom Ash is saying, hello, guys. Hey, Tom. How are hey, you doing? Hey, Tom. What's up? We've got what, what time is it over there in Tom Ash land? Probably nighttime. Nighttime. I think it's in the UK, so it's like 10 or 11 pm maybe. How do you know it's the real Tom Ash? It could just be anyone. Tom Ash, is it you? We need to know. <laughs> I'll throw us a picture. <laughs> All right, we've got Aileen Campen Gaiman says, Oh, this is a fan of you, babe. He says, Hey, sexy, love your videos as always. I'm a big fan. All right. And he says, You're gorgeous and beautiful. I've got the iPhone XX Max and loving that beautiful XX Max. blue. What's Too X? bad because oh, it doesn't 10. have. 120 hertz. It's called iPhone 10. And he says, should I get it from Apple on the upgrade program or from a carrier? Which would you recommend? Would you get it from like Apple or would you get it from a different carrier? That's it, the question. It depends on the offers. Like, I like getting it from yeah. Apple directly because I like buying my SIM card on my own. So I usually prepay a SIM for a year or two, depending on the offer. Just pay it in advance. And I buy the phone separately. But if you're not able to put that money up front in advance, you might as well just go for the carrier and then they'll give you an upgrade path line. So it really depends on the offers that the carriers are giving. They might have some crazy good deals coming out, especially um, January sales. Some good oh, stuff might be true. happening there. Apple Black never, Friday. yeah, Apple never give a sale. They're, they're just very, very shrewd with that stuff. Mm. But like the lady was saying, Black Friday, you know, Cyber Monday, yeah. Christmas, January yeah. sales, so much coming Easter, up right now. yeah. So, so maybe what kind of deals yeah. you you getting offered over there? I agree with you, Ash. Good advice. All right, hey guys, congrats on your live program. That's from a YouTube account. Thank you so much, YouTube account. William Chu, have you tried the new AMD twenty point one zero boot cam driver for the sixteen inch MacBook Pro? Hey, check this out. I just want to show you. This oh. is this is a Lambs T-shirt. This That's is like cool. a, an anti five G radiation T-shirt. <laughs> I figured it might be useful for this phone. Just try it out for the first no, it looks time. Nice. It's black. It doesn't have any branding. No, it does. There's a little lamb on your side. But it's, it's so blah. inconspicuous that you can't see it. Inconspicuous. Incons it's actually quite nice, Ash. That's a, it's weird, it's yeah. A nice, nice I was ex black t shirt. I thought it was going to be purple. I, I, I think you, you should belong in an Apple event now. Yeah. Oh. You is it nice? How does it feel like? It feels all right. I mean, yeah. I'm wearing two t shirts yeah, at once, so I need to do a proper review of this. Nice. But maybe I can just put my phone right here and it, I need to do some testing actually. Wow. That'll be fun. See if it's it works. It's a nice snug fit. I have to say, you look pretty good on it. One thing to notice about like anti radiation outfits and clothes like that is that you need to be cognizant of uh, the pros and the cons. So the pro is it stops radiation coming to the areas of your t shirt, but the cons is it also stops radiation coming out. Mm. So the good thing about this one, I guess, is that if there's radiation coming through the arms, it's going to bounce around in my body and come out through the other side. But if I was fully enclosed, a lot of people have been saying, why can't we have like a fully enclosed like Mars kind of like full on outfit? The bad thing about that is, is if any radiation comes in, it will just keep on bouncing around inside. According to Chinese scientists, I'll put in a reference downstairs if someone asked me in the comment section, but they said that it's worse to be fully protected in case something leaks in than having an exit pathway. So having a t-shirt like this should be all right but just don't put your phone inside the t-shirt mm. because then it will bounce it's around. It'll be worse for you. It'll be you. worse for you if you put your phone inside oh. than do it. if you put it on the outside. Disclaimer warning. Yeah, just, but yeah, you're going to no, do a full review of this, right? You're going to test that to see if it actually I guess works. I have to. I'm, I'm actually... More, I quite like it. It looks quite nice. I thought well. it was going to be purple. I never knew it was going to be this, like, sexy looking. Yep. Yeah, you're looking pretty right. rough on that, Ash. No, nah, it's all right, yeah. Cause I, Everyone I is loving the, it on the live chat. I had well. their beanie hat, and that one looked a bit like, you know, Metro. I, I walking around, I felt like a bit of a, a hipster. Yeah. But this one, I feel like a, maybe like a bodybuilder I or something. I feel like you belong in an Apple event. I think you're dressed accordingly. No, I don't belong there, man. They kick me out. They kick me out. I 
t-shirts. All right, let's carry on, Ash. Now, have you tried gonna, the... Oh, I'm going to open up this. Is there more? Oh, I want to open up These this, guys. These guys are like hitting it this up on the like, comments. Um, this is like an amazing keyboard. I'm actually going to do a proper review for this one. This one, I just want to say, I brought in all this little tech that I haven't reviewed. Unboxed it. This one is going to be a laptop fan cooler. So you put this nice. underneath the laptop and it's meant to cool it down. It's these fancy lights. And this, this is the big boy. This guy costs. I oh, just want to wow. show you. Before I get to the comment, I'm going to get to go the comment. Go on, go on, go this on. This is like good. Netgear business. This that is, is oh, expensive. I bought this over a thousand dollars. What? It's got 16, 10 gigabit ports. I got a dream where I move my NAS to like a closet somewhere and I run an Ethernet cable, a 10G one, to my office or like place where I work, if you want to call that an office, and I'm able to use the NAS like still and it runs fast. Because right now I sit right next to the NAS and it can be a bit noisy. I'm always hearing the, the, the hard drives grumble. I can always put an SSD and all that stuff, but my dream is just to put it in another room and just be able to work off it with multiple computers and do all this. Awesome. Yes, yeah. I have a dream. I have and security a dream. cameras and do all this kind of like good stuff. It's so much fun just messing around. So I'm going to be plugging that in one day. What's that? I just thought I'd take off the sticker. Oh no, man. You like the sticker? I need the review of this. Okay, sorry. Show. That's the people aren't going to know. They're going to know that she used goods. Oh, okay. Okay, okay sorry. As, as I was saying, if anyone's interested in that, let me know. I'm so excited to be doing that stuff, wiring up. I bought... Um, an endoscope, so I was looking through the walls, finding out where all the, the joints go. I've got like a fish tape coming soon. I'm talking too much. What are Ash, you saying? You know, I just want to say something, iPhone, something, something for you guys. If you are interested in more home improvement stuff, Ash does have another channel. It's oh called no. Heads of Estate. Yes, there you go. Heads of Estate. You can follow all of the stuff that he's doing there with everything that he's just mentioned right now, yeah, as I, well as. Yeah, yeah you've got so much stuff. On there. Eventually it'll go on there. It'll all go on there, so Heads of Estate. Oh, you guys, some news. Remember, I told you I bought like a, a camera lens and I did some pictures for a house. I did some real estate photography. Guess what? The, the, the house already had an offer on it in, in three weeks. That they is must, awesome. They must have loved the photos and the video I produced for it. it it's got an offer down. Apparently, um, it's going to close in a couple of weeks or something like that. It got sold for like a really good price. So uh, I'm, yeah. I, I need to, and I'll tell you something, yeah. I edited the pictures that got published on the real estate advert in Guess what application? You gotta what? guess which application, yeah? What application? Not, 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 um, what's that application everyone using? Not Photoshop, not anyone. I edited the photographs in Final Cut Pro. So I used Final Cut Pro to edit the video and the photograph graphs of the real estate advert. And, that, and uh, the advert drew a buyer within, within the first three weeks and it's, it's gonna close very soon, so. That is exciting, Yeah, Ash. so That's I put down an good. offer on my pictures. That, is, that just goes to show that a bit of hard work and perseverance on editing some pictures actually gives you a good result. It just goes to show I'm officially a professional photographer. <laughs> I'm a photographer. Bravo, I'm bravo, a photographer. bravo, bravo. <laughs> I shall pay you your commission. I need to do a video on that because I was, I was being like a little artist when I was taking yeah, pictures. Awesome. I was like doing some weird like camera angles, just having fun. <laughs> But you know what? That actually sells because the guy who put down an offer is not a local dude, so he yeah. must have watched yeah. your video must and watched the, the photos pictures. online. Or it just then... could have been random. But I'll have a breakdown on that guy if you guys are interested in that. Okay, questions. Oh my god. Oh. There's just too much here. Okay, yeah, people Let, don't... let's just go okay. back to William Chow because he Who's says. William Chow? William Chu says, oh, have you Chu. tried the new AMD 20.10 bootcamp driver for the MacBook 16 inch? No, I haven't, man. Is it good? What's, what's the news? What's going Let me know. This is called Heads of Tech. Which means you and me, we are the heads. Oh, 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 look at this guy, he's so smooth. So is Haven't it you missed him? Is it Chu? Yes. Chu, let me know what's been going on. I did run boot camp recently. I was comparing the Razer, I actually got a review of it, the Razer Blade Pro. It's got a RTX 2080. I know that's expired now, it's out of date, but it's still amazing for a laptop. It was 50% faster graphics, actually more, almost 2x faster graphics than my 5500M. MacBook Pro, so I was a bit Whoa. like, you know, I didn't know, and the fans were so much nicer. Oh man, he didn't like go crazy like this guy. Wow. I know this guy called Tally Ho Tech, he's the most best tech channel on uh, YouTube. Tally Ho Tech, make sure you check him out. He's saying that the 5600M's MacBook Pro has better fans than the 5500M. I don't believe him. I don't, I'm telling you right now, I don't believe you, Tally. Mm. I don't believe him, but you know, uh, maybe it's true. Yeah, Why do they update the Max? Oh, I'm sad. And like, what's going on with bootcamp? Isn't bootcamp dead? Why are we talking about this? Macs have officially moved to ARM. Apple have said ARM isn't going to support bootcamp. It's not going to support even Windows. Yeah, I'm sad about that. You should be sad about that too. Yeah. It's a sad moment. <laughs> <laughs> what would you recommend, Ash? 
Would you stick with 11 Pro Max or 12 Pro Max? Oh, man. Do you know what? I would just I, test out the 12 Pro Max yeah, and then you, go back to the other. Apple's great like because um, they have a returns policy and they're very liberal about it. So you yeah. can just play with the phone. With if you weeks. like it, keep it. If you don't like it, return it. It's like, kind of like a trial period. I see nothing wrong with playing around with the new yeah. phone. If you are tight for money, then no, don't do it. At least you got to upgrade every at least two years. Yeah, two years, like, yeah. I still yeah. got my Note, was it, is it the 10 or the 11? This phone's two years old, I've got no reason to upgrade to the newest one. It's more than good enough. And Samsung yeah. camera quality are always rubbish, so there's no need to upgrade it. With iPhone 11, going to the 12, unless you need 5G to have faster speeds, and you want to kill your battery, you're happy that your battery's going to get killed for having 5G running all the time. Just don't get it, actually. <laughs> there's no need for it. I reckon wait a year at least so they can iron it out because the first 5G models, they're going to have some issues. Next year, they'll probably fix up all the issues because it sounds to me like even in their presentation, they've got an auto switching mode which switches off 5G and switches back to LTE whenever it can for battery life. So it sounds to me like 5G definitely is going to drain your battery life very, very badly. What would be interesting to find out is if 4G runs better on the newer modem on the newer radio than it does on the current iPhone 11, so you might get better battery life for those kind of use cases. But generally, when you upgrade every single year, you don't notice the difference that much because the phones are pretty, pretty amazing. It's very, very gradual, the differences. But if you give it at least two years, then I'd upgrade. But if you've got money and you, you just, it's, it's, it's gonna make you happy. Like one of the problems with not buying something is that it occupies brain space and like, we have the same amount of time in the world as Bill Gates, Steve Jobs did, as Beyonce does, Jay-Z does, all the famous, mm. you know, successful people that are just rocking out the rock. He has the same amount of time, 24 hours a day, as you out there. So it's just how you occupy your time. If you're going to sit there for the next two months wondering, what if, what if, what if, what if, why, why didn't I do this? Should I, should I not? Mm. If you're the kind of person that constantly, you know, doesn't, you know, think about other stuff, then you're better off just getting it, getting it out of your system and just moving on with your life and occupying your time with something more productive. But if you're the kind of person that is just wants me to say, don't get it, and you're going to move on with your life, then don't get it. Move on with your life. <laughs> Hope that helped. Does that make sense? Do you need no, a mini? Do you need I, a new phone? I'm just going to get it just to play with it for the two you weeks. You actually want to get it? I don't want to waste I my time so. with it. I don't even want to touch it. <laughs> I, I, I want to do it solely for like, to show you guys as well. I think that would yeah? be useful. Yeah, I think these guys want to check it out. Because we do have the ability to There's like a million it. YouTube channels out there. They can go to them. Yeah, but it's not, it's not heads of tech, right? Am I right? Am I right, guys? Am I right? There's so much love on this comment section right now that I can just tell these guys want to see the video that you're going to do for it. Anyway, one person, Reliable Andrew, Reliable Andrew says, no USB-C, why not wait one more year? You know, Andrew, that's a really good point. Uh, I've got to say, it's a good point. I was, you know, when, when I heard the reliable part of your name, I was like thinking, is he going to be a reliable kind of guy? Or is yeah. he like, is he a, a trickster? Is Chand Chandelier? Chandelier? Charlatan? Is he a charlatan? Is he going to be deceiving me with his reliability? Because I've met a lot of tradies and they are unreliable. They're taking my money, they haven't come back. <laughs> <laughs> Never pay anyone in advance. That's all I'm going to say about that. Anyway, I, I was wondering, is he actually reliable? And it turned out, oh, yeah, it's a pretty reliable comment. Pretty why are they still, yeah. still using Lightning? I know why, because they're making money from Lightning. They're not yeah. going to make any money from USB-C. But, yeah, wait another year. USB-C needs to be, I can't believe they never did that. Why didn't they put USB-C on the latest iPhone? Why? Yeah. They expect I you to buy new cables anyway. you got to buy a charger. Oh, dead, dead, dead silence. Reliable, you win. You've <laughs> stumped. Reliable has won. You've stumped. You You've seem to be one reading some more comments. Uh, there's so much here, okay, Ash. So I don't much. even know where to Let's begin. Let's do Q and A. We've got so much. I'm trying to downgrade my iPhone so they can own, I can only use 2G so I don't get so much radiation. Fair I don't enough. think you can. I think 3G is the lowest you can go. Unless you root it. I don't know if you can do that on iPhone. I haven't done that. Maybe ever on, on an 2G, iPhone. I wouldn't imagine you'd get much signal though for 2G. Yeah, they've, they've, over in Probably. Australia, they've killed because off all the 2G. I, I try to use 3G and it's like, Near impossible. They're slowly disconnecting 3G even over here. So the minimum really we're going to be having is 4G. It's 4G. So I reckon 2G might be a stretch, unless you live somewhere where there's quite remote anyway. Um, okay, someone says hopefully... But like, oh. why are you trying to get it to that level? Are you getting any symptoms? Or are you just trying to protect yourself? Are you just being cautious? Are you getting headaches from it? Because usually my technique is, I just try to keep my phone away from me, yeah. just give it a bit of distance, just for me being cautious. I do find it uncomfortable when it's in my pocket. And it is on, but I don't know if it's just mentally. I don't actually know if it's mental. Like, 
once you, it's like once you start researching into anything, you start researching into the air, you start researching into water, you start researching into radiation, you just, there's too any, oh my too God, much. the amount of medical, even like treatments, all this kind of like stuff, medicines that we take, <laughs> the drinks that we take, cola, <laughs> organic, like with anything, lactose. Though, right? you start, I think with anything, you have to just take it in moderation because you can't live with nothing. Like you can't live with air and water. <laughs> the water might be polluted, no, but yeah. you, you just have to take it in moderate. I get the sentiment. You're too crazy with that. But what I'm saying is, if it's just you being cautious, then I probably just try not to be so cautious about it, because you being cautious is probably making you be more anxious about it, and when you're more anxious about it, you're probably more susceptible to negative effects generally in life, whereas if you're a positive person, you let all the bad stuff bounce away from you. But if you're suffering from illnesses, if there's actually a condition for you, I'd recommend check, it, check yourself out with a doctor because there's so many, like you could be having so many different conditions. So it's best to just vet it. It might not just be the first thing that you jump onto. Like I've been trying to lose weight for the longest time. I tried everything. And the best thing that I did recently is I ditched lactose and gluten. So I stopped eating bread and I stopped drinking milk. I drink now lactose free milk. And honestly, like I'll, the weight just, just disappeared. I had, I was having an allergic reaction. I thought it was fat. Like my body was, I had like a big tire around my belly. I still got a little bit, but I thought it was um, fat, but it turned out it was just an allergic reaction. So for example, now if I eat corn cakes or starch or bread, I get, I get the tire back, but after a few days, it actually just disappears. So I'm actually having an allergy mm. to bread. So actually finding out the re root cause of the reaction is probably the best thing I do. So get help from from a doctor. I'm not taking, I'm not making fun of you. I'm just saying, try to get down to it. It could be diet related. It could be exercise related. It could be stress related. It could be a lot of different things. And um, yeah, that's well, actually interesting. He actually echoes your thoughts. He says, I'm a vegan. No bread is key. Want to get thin? Just do not eat bread. I he said I have a landline and a pager and a smartphone. I only turn on for emergency. So I think. Um, also, also, 2019 US government study proved 2G, 3G, 4G, and Wi Fi give cancer to rats. Yeah, that, that would that, that happen. Mm -hmm. But you know, rats are different to humans, so they still need ongoing studies. And what I do, like I said, I always keep my phone just like when I'm walking, I always put it in my hand, or unless I'm wearing like the radiation proof stuff, then I can put it in my pocket. But generally, I just always keep it away from me. I'm just coming. So even Apple says when you're using the phone, try using it on speakerphone, don't put it close yeah, to your head. He so, say that. But if you are getting illnesses from it, that's when I, you know, double down on it and try finding out what the illness, the yeah, illness kind of is. Yeah, definitely see a doctor if that is the case, yeah. for sure. Okay, William Chu is back, and this is funny, actually. Okay, um, Chu, Chu, Chu it out. Back. He's back, and I've actually lost the comment. Oh, where did oh, it go? Chu. No. Oh, why? Pikachu. Oh, yeah, I can hear your 5,600 RPM fan noise, lol. <laughs> I can hear it too. <laughs> oh, you need that fan noise, whatever thing to use. It's so noisy. <laughs> <laughs> Tally O, man. <laughs> I need the 5600M. This so is the 5500. <laughs> it's not even using the fan. Intel's CPUs are rubbish. So noisy. You know, I'm actually excited about Apple moving to ARM because maybe they'll sort Intel out because Intel CPUs are. Yeah, I, I said it again, it's rubbish. Rubbish. No offense, rubbish. 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 Ash, you should do, YouTube account, you should do a video on the difference in Wi Fi routers, benefits of buying a router at different price ranges. That's a really good idea. Yeah, yeah I, really I will. I've, I've had my router for like five years now. Wow. I love it, you know, it's, it's wow. got low power mode, medium power mode, high power mode. It, it's been working well and uh, yeah, I, I, love, I love my router. I might get a new router when I figure out what I need. I'm just trying to figure out the whole networking situation out. I'm trying to get a firewall to protect my hardware firewall, to protect my connections, all that kind of like stuff. So there's a lot of networking videos that I will plan to put on this channel, security cameras, intercom systems. I know, I know Apple wants you to use the Hey Siri intercom, which will not work. Imagine, this is one of the headline features. You can now use Hey Siri to interrupt an AirPods Pro session. So I say, Hey Siri, tell Nora. Oh, really? Yeah, and it will cut off whatever you're doing. That's kind of annoying, because sometimes when you're like in a workout and you're in the zone, you're like, doo -doo -doo -doo, you're running, you're running, and suddenly you hear like someone well, shouting. Well, I'll tell you what's <laughs> annoying. Just say, you're a doc, you know, I'm, I'm watching these 5G videos. Just say you're a surgeon doing heart to heart surgery using brain the 5G surgery. brain surgery over, over, and over then your the wife internet. Starts you. <laughs> your wife oh, says, yeah, Can you pick us up, please? <laughs> Beep! Ah, Beep! Patient's dead! Beep. <laughs> you know, the first thing everyone will do will d disable that feature. Oh, it's not I working. I think so. Well, who wants uh, to be I'm going, I'm going for a tunnel. I, can't <laughs> even, I don't want to do the dishes. Who wants to be interrupted like that? I don't. Do you I, want don't to be I don't want to be interrupted. I do not want but to be interrupted. You're going to carry on the show. I'm just going to quickly do something.
Okay, Don't. so guys, there is so much love out there. I just want to tell you guys that Ash is very excited about this iPhone. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that he buys it. I'm going to make sure that he reviews it. And I'm also going to make sure that he tests out the RF because, you know, I think he should. Hands up if you think he should do that. <laughs> Ash, Ash is back. <laughs> What do you reckon, Ash? Let's open up the window, man. It's just so it's hot. It's hot in here. So, so. Oh. It's hot stuff sitting next to this hot guy. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to find a locksmith. I'm getting so confused. All right, Ash, okay. I think let's just jump back in. Oh, back in. iPhone, yeah. We keep getting distracted. All right, Dueno says, Head of Technology, Asus 15.6 inch Pro Art Studio Book One mobile workstation. Is this the best notebook in the market, in your opinion? Is that Chinese? <laughs> Asus 15.6 no, inch. I saw that one. I'm not sure. Asus, do you, what do you think of Asus? Can I read that comment? He says, um, he says, is it the best notebook in the market? You know, the only notebooks I've tested, <laughs> it's a tech, I'm an embarrassment. That is embarrassing. Is the Razor Blade and the MacBook Pro. All the other ones, I'm just not sure about. My brother, he's got that, um, the one with the two screens. He's loving it. So he's got a screen at the top and he's got a screen at the bottom built in. I forget what brand it is. It might even be the Asus Pro Art. I did see them. The problem is, like all the reviewers out there that review Windows laptops, they just review them and they don't actually use them. They just review them and they don't keep them for life. What you need to do, be careful about when you watch people reviewing laptops, is try figuring out if they actually are consistently using their, their laptops in their videos. So for example, me, pretty much you're seeing the laptop I'm using. So that's the one I'm recommending. That's the one I, I go to. So that's the kind of like trick when you're watching marketing videos. If I was going to switch to Windows, I probably would switch to that Razor Blade Pro that I had sent back, unfortunately. They wouldn't let me keep it. But I probably will switch over to something like that. Because what I liked about that one is like minimal branding and it's got a nice GPU, it's got a nice CPU. I do also like the Dells. They seem to be very solid. And I've watched a lot of Tally Old Tech and he seems to always be using a Dell and just talking it up. So I'm getting a bit of a vibe from that. But if you're seeing Asus, make sure you maybe subscribe to the person that's reviewing the laptop and see if he uses it or she, he or she uses it consistently in their videos. Because if they're using it consistently in their videos and they're not like a sponsored brand ambassador, then you know it's a good laptop. But if they just review it and then the next day they're reviewing something completely different and they never mention it again before, then you know that it's probably, maybe it'll have like battery life issues, maybe there'll be like a bad warranty, maybe there'll be, there'll be, there'll be like a little something something that's a bit wrong with it. But generally most laptops nowadays, they are beast mode. They're more powerful than, than anything you could, you could ever need. Back in the day, about 10 years ago, there was something called a netbook. That was a big phase back then. And those guys were severely underpowered laptops. They could not get anything running. I loved them because they were very good for battery life and they were very good for travel. And I was doing web programming back then, so I wasn't doing like YouTube videos. I wasn't doing anything intensive. So th they were good for that case. But nowadays, most laptops, they're very, very beefy. Even the low powered ones, they're very, very beefy. So even the MacBook Air, I know people don't like it, but I Think that, that guy's amazing. I've had that guy 10 years ago. I was programming on a MacBook Air 10 wow. years ago. I was doing like professional development. I even got an Apple staff pick in the App Store. They used to have a web app store before the Apple App Store. I got a staff pick by them. Oh, wow. So, yeah, That's pretty cool. that was, I, I put, it, I put it on my wall. I put it on my wall at work. That's an achievement. And uh, no, it was, I was so un entrepreneurial back then. I was just a, a programmer. So I code all the time. And I had like, um, people from like JP Morgan Bank, the Financial Times contacting me about the application that I was using. And I was just saying, hey guys, use it, it's free. I had no business savviness back then. So if you are young and you get like a little opportunity, all you need to do is just learn the art of sales. Just, just, just express your vision, talk yourself up a little bit and just try to not represent who you are today, represent who you think you're gonna be in five years time. Talk yourself in that way, and that's how you become a bit successful. I don't know if that's telling you anything about the laptop that you asked about. <laughs> well, you know what? Suit? I feel like that was. Well, like, think about it this way: if you, what were you doing this ASUS laptop for? Are you planning to show it off? If you're planning to show off your laptop, are you sure you want to go to ASUS? That's the question. If you're just looking at the features and it's got amazing features, then get it. If it's a good price point, then get it. But if you're planning to show it off, if you want to walk in to just say a meeting, and everyone to go, "Wow, what's that?" then uh, maybe ASUS isn't for you. But if you, you probably want to get a MacBook if you want to do that kind of stuff, or even a Dell looks, no, probably the MacBook looks kind of good, or Alienware. I saw some oh. kitchen designers, they came over, they had an Alienware. Mm. 
the designer wasn't good, but they had an annual, and I thought that was pretty cool. Pretty beefy. Yeah. That was a beefy laptop. <laughs> yeah, it was like just, a monster. The lights were just like glowing. Monster. I was like, what, what are you doing with yourself, man? That's crazy. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> the most impressive kitchen designer I saw so far, he actually <laughs> used a pen and, pen and paper and drew it with lines with a ruler. And I was like, whoa, this guy actually has the confidence of using lines. Putting it down yeah, on paper. You yeah. can't change it what's on paper. Well, what, that's the problem. When, when you have too much control, you start to lose creativity. Mm. Creativity, you're most creative when you're constrained, when you have limits. Because with too many options, just confuse, confuse you, just floods you. Mm. What am I saying about this stuff? Asus Pro Art, I heard about it. I saw a couple of reviews on it. I haven't had it before. It looks impressive, but it might... I don't know, I don't know, I can't tell you. Let me know, let me know what you think of it. Mm -hmm. Asus, if you're out there, send me one so I can uh, do a review and let everyone buy it. They clearly want to know. They want to know. <laughs> Sasha Galloway has joined the chat. Galloway, is that related to George Galloway? Possible. Oi, Sasha Galloway, cool The name. only problem with iPhones is they're like belly buttons. Everyone has one. Mm, it's yeah, true, isn't it? Well, you yeah. don't have an iPhone, you're a bit different. Yeah, but is that a good thing that be different? Yeah. I, that's the thing, like Apple are uh, always like bigging up being different, yeah, they're not. Yeah. yeah, I agree. No, but it's like, the problem is, yeah, it's not like belly buttons. My mate is, because if you don't have an iPhone, you're not part of the gang. For example, I went to Starbucks the other day. Everyone there had multicolored hair. And I walked in, I never had multicolored hair, so they were just rude to me. Actually, I don't know why they were rude to me. I said, hello, I said, thank you, and they just looked me up like this. <laughs> But I tell you, if I applied for a job in that Starbucks, I'd probably be bullied by those workers because I didn't look like them. Or maybe you'd have to get coloured hair. I'd have to colour my hair or something, or they just... They had such an attitude problem, all of them. Oh, and they were just like... Mm. They were so, an attitude. so rude. Coffee. And you know, Starbucks isn't exactly cheap in this country. It's pretty expensive. I don't understand it. <laughs> Yeah, they were just so, and they were rude to you as well. They just didn't want to talk to you. They were just mean, mean people. It doesn't, it's not a nice experience going into a coffee shop when someone just is not friendly. Yeah, so maybe you have to have an iPhone to just... So you can fit in. Yeah, to fit in, because you might get bullied at school. They might say, oh, is that an Android, really? But Joe, the stiffer Biden says, I, that's why he's a Is that Biden? But Joe Biden is joining the club. The next president of America, possibly. Congratulations. The shortest president term in America. I like Joe Biden. I know, I know like you guys might not like him. I, I, like, I like them both, to be honest. I like them both. Joe Biden, what I love about him, he reminds me of the constable from Police Academy. If you guys haven't seen Police Academy, make sure you watch Police Academy. Honestly, it's Joe, it's Joe Biden. He's, the, he's like the leader of Police Academy. And he's, just, and he's also in Hot Shots. The guy in Hot oh, Shots, yeah, the commander. He was actually the president of America in Hot Shots 2. If you want to see Joe Biden as president, make sure you watch Hot Shots 2. So he's actually, yeah, he's, so he's, he's, he's such a cool character. So I, like, I, like his, I like the both of them. They're so hilarious. That's crazy. American press, oh man, who are you guys going to vote for? Oh, do we have any American viewers out there? I did, a, I did a poll and everyone was voting Trump. I know you got a couple of patients and they really love Trump, love isn't Trump. it? They, they love, love, they love Trump. Trump. They, they gave me a Trump me a face mask, isn't yeah, it? Oh, I, got, I don't know what it is. I, I got a Trump 2020 face mask. Oh my it's God. It's cool. Like, I, I, like, I find him entertaining too. I know a lot of people hate him as well and a lot of people hate... It's controversial. Biden. Yeah, it's, it's a controversial very, very controversial. But if you just step back a little bit and just enjoy the show, like, thankfully... Like, there's been no wars yet, like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, let's just see about that. worried about that. <laughs> let's just see about that. Yeah, let me know who you're voting for. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I think that guy might be um, a Trump supporter because... Sniffer. Sniffer Biden. The sniffer. <laughs> the sniffer. So you're anti-Joe Biden, I think. No, he, has a, he has a couple of incidents with young people. Oh. He gets really close and fondles, oh, okay. it fondles I, them. Okay. I, I'm sure he does it in a nice way, but he just looks dodgy. <laughs> you got to see. It's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like the guy, it's, it's the common guy from Police Academy. Do you know he's like bumbling? Got it, it's like yeah. a bumbling mess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just like randomly goes, <laughs> <laughs> Oh God. All right, William Chu's back. He says, hey. work, work stop, Workstation laptops look for Apple, Microsoft, Dell, Razer, and Lenovo. Others are second tier. They Microsoft, go. really? I've seen their Microsoft laptops. I, haven't, I wouldn't call them a workstation. They look a bit too stylish. Dell, I've seen that, I've yeah. Seen Dell. Dell will be good. Well, who else is it? Apple? Lenovo and Razer. I haven't tried Apple. the Leno Lenovo. They are big, isn't it? Big, Lenovo big. Lenovo really popular. In, in my world, they're the number one. Got a Lenovo yeah. laptop. A laptop, really? Yeah, like or is it laptop. workstation. 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 Sure. Maybe it's workstation. Yeah, workstation. Yeah, they're like the number one 
company in the world for computers now. Whoa. A big Chinese manufacturer. Really? Yeah. So they're Lenovo. going down, like Apple's going down then? Lenovo's going no, down. Apple's never been oh. number one for computers because okay. they've always been niche. But Lenovo to do everything. Are they wow. actually allowed in America? What's going on with America? I was checking out security cameras and like the, the best brand in the world, Hikvision, they are banned in America. Every single installer loves them over here in Australia, even though Australia are like bum chums with America. They copy whatever America does. So I'm like, you know, but the CIA said Hikvision's completely hacked and it's really bad. And they just laughed at me saying, nah, you just, you know, just don't worry about it. <laughs> and I'm like looking at them thinking, ah, oh, you want to spy on me, isn't it? That's why. <laughs> Funny. Oh my days. Um, Quang, Quang711. Oh, Quang, Quang is back. Quang. Quang is from Sydney. He's the YouTuber, right? Queensland. Quang, yes. Quang's Quang got his from... um, Check out Quang's channel. Yes. He's like this little kid. He's not little. He's, uh, he's, he's basically. He's when, a cool dude from. When you're Australia. old, everyone's a little kid, yeah? You're not that old. No, nah, I feel old, man, honestly. Well, I, I really get on with the older people. They really love maintaining their lawns. They're like, <laughs> they're like making everything look pretty. They have too much time, and I really get on with them. They're so nice. They they're clean. Too. They don't like making a mess. They don't like making too much noise. They just walk around judging you. It's nice. You can, you can tell when you're starting to get older and your mates are retired. <laughs> yeah, they don't, they don't like the new age music. I don't know what's up with music. I feel oh, music I'm old. Is just, yeah. No, I think there's something a bit crass about music this, these days. When I was young, I was like, Quang, I was out there. I was like, really weird. No, but, but now Quang I'm looking saying, at me and thinking I'm normal. Quang's saying iPhone 12 plus 5G grabs the RF radiation machine <laughs> monitor. Yeah, I'm so with you. So I think Quang is on our level. All right, we'll have to, we'll have to do a, a collaboration. <laughs> what I'm excited about is the new redesigned antennas, just to see. Because <laughs> iPhone yeah. 4, like, you know, remember they, it had that design and you could easily like, you know, hold it here and break the antenna. And they went back to that design now. <laughs> And they have had to redesign the antennas again. I'm hoping they got it right. I mean, I saw their studio. And it, looked, it looked kind of impressive. They had a bit of sound and all that stuff. Let me show you guys again, screen and camera. They have a nice little studio here. This guy's really happy with himself. It's coming. Hey, 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 hey. There you go. Look oh at this, the speaker God. studio. Look at that. So, Arnus, Mateus, wireless technologies and ecosystems. Wow. He, was, he said, look at me, I'm amazing. And um, yeah. Amazing person. So it's yeah. going to be fun to see what's... I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. It would be fine. Yeah, it's going to be great. Joe... Oh, sorry. William Chow Chu, he says, I meant the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon. Oh, I've yeah. Seen the I've, I've seen that. So Everyone yeah, loves the ThinkPad. Yeah. They love the ThinkPad. Love it. They love it. Love it. They, love it. Yeah. You've not tried it before, though, have you? I haven't tried it before, but... Well, you ever try it. But, like, with that one, it's like... I've seen so many people actually love it. They like, yeah. lo they they like religious. They like yeah, MacBook Pro it. level about the ThinkPad. So that's something I would consider the really? ThinkPad. Yeah, Ooh. I thought you were talking about the Pro Pro Art one. Or no, is that a display? There's like a Pro Art one. It's kind of like super heavy. It's got like a full on CPU or full on GPU. Yeah, that one. Okay. I don't know too much about it. It feels like if I used it for a year, it would have burned up already. <laughs> I think that's it. So that's I a, think it depends on your use. It's case like the i9 it. MacBooks. Yeah, they'll yeah, burn yeah. up. I, I but like the it. the ThinkPad, they yeah. they, they got a big follow. I haven't tried it myself, but they got a big following. They also yeah. love it because they like installing Linux on it and all that kind of stuff. So if you're a bit of a tinkerer then maybe it'll be great maybe for you. Good one. Yeah. All right, Sasha's back. She says... Sasha! May, may, I think Sasha's a female. What's the name? Sasha Galloway. Uh, it could be it Sasha. Could be it could be could Borat. Be the Borat cat yeah. guy, he's called That's Sasha. That's I'm not too sure. But anyhow... Is it Sasha? Like, Sasha. Let us know. Okay, you don't have to let us know. This isn't a police audit. Don't, don't, don't relax. Don't like, worry about Make it, it up. <laughs> Let's have some fun. Or you could just be non-identifiable. Like you might just say, I prefer not to <laughs> I, say. I or identify other, as a or fridge. A, a, yeah, <laughs> like a grass or something. Oh, I got a fridge, you know? I need to do a review of that fridge. I got, I got this... Uh, I'll talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha says, maybe I'm harsh. Well, well, one second, I'm never just about this fridge yet. Because it, it, it comes damaged and they need to send a repair guy to like fix it up. And it's got like a full on computer in the back. He opened it up, it was at the wires. It was like yeah. it had wires yeah. and like all it was, this. It was had just, like a mobile phone connected to the. Uh, yeah, it was a Samsung fridge. Yeah. Yeah, they've probably got a camera in there spying on me as well. No, no, you got the one without any of that stuff. Uh, you, so. Do you know? <laughs> I don't do you know? know actually. I really don't know. <laughs> do you know? I really don't know. Maybe I'm harsh with the belly button comment, but I think iPhones are reliable. Good when they're new, I guess. No. Yeah. Yes. I, I yes. On the point. Yes. yes. When they're new. Yes. Honest, like every single really? year, they just get slower. So Maybe true. the battery just genuinely gets degraded. But no, it didn't. Phones never used to be like that. They used to have your Nokia 3210. That used to be absolutely just... 
five years. <laughs> this guy, you know, you're to ten. <laughs> Everyone has an occupation. He's no snakes on him. Yeah, snake. And iPhones, I swear, mine is now slowing down. Like, the battery is, is running. I feel like You've got it's the 11 starting, Pro. I've got the 11 Pro, and I feel like the battery just goes... Is it slowing down? You know, the battery's starting to, like... You How know, do you know? Because sometimes when I'm at work, it's like already on half a battery, and I've not. So really the battery's used it. already gone. I feel like it's That's starting. That's so sad. I feel like it's starting, and I knew this because the predecessor did the same thing as well. As soon as they release a new iPhone, they always like mess up the battery. Do you think they do it deliberately, or yes. is it just poorly configured? Sasha, what do you think? Because like, surely uh, if if it breaks down within a year, that is just poorly implemented. Like. Yeah. I, don't, I haven't tried a Tesla before, but they always have redundancy built in. Basically, the idea is you make the battery bigger than what you use. So just say the battery is 100%. You make the 100% 70%. So when the battery degrades, you start using the unused parts of the battery. So it still feels like 100% battery. Right, okay. So don't make the phone run so obliterately fast. You play games on it. Yeah. What I, games? I don't what? play any games on my phone. Yeah, so you don't play any games on I don't it. Play any so games. you have a a faulty battery within the first year of your iPhone Premium 11 Pro yeah, and you don't even use it. You just the way use that it to they're text. advertising it, I What know. do you do with it? I you don't play any of it. Like, you've got I these hardcore League of Legends using the new Ash character with the sexy, sexy <laughs> looks. Ash, by the way. I know Ash. <laughs> they got playing it at like 300 frames a second or something stupid like that. And their phones, I can imagine, would degrade because it's games, they abuse I the battery. But you don't do anything with it's it and it's already lost its battery. It's crazy. So why is that happening? I don't know. Joe says, didn't Apple get sued for making their phone slower? Yeah, but did they lose the suitcase? So people would buy a new iPhone. Yeah, they did. Well, well, that wasn't the reason why they, they did it. They did it to conserve the battery life of the phone, is what they say. Everyone said that, yeah, they did get sued they because they're slowing down the phones. Yeah. Tom Ash says, iPhone, fix your phone, but Android providers send you to call centers. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, with iPhones, you can go to the Apple store, but I've got, with Android, you... I've got Samsung Care. I haven't used it, but it's there. So hopefully, if I do smash up this phone, they will send me a They'll replacement. So there is alternative providers. But that being said, the great thing about iPhones is that they retain their battery life. Sorry, they retain their value. So yeah. selling your phone after a year it's going to keep its value as an iPhone, whereas yeah. these guys, they just drop, they, they drop like in half, yeah. 75% It's like crazy. worthless in a couple of years. It's crazy, actually. Breaking news, Ed Ventures says, oh my God, did I miss the keynote? Oh my God. Ed Ventures. Oh, it was like the best. <laughs> oh, it was, it was. Awesome. Did you know the iPhone is now 5G? 5G, 5G. It's got the most 5G ever in the history of a phone. It's got the smallest 5G phone. 5G for you, all over the world, 100 carriers are going to be sporting 5G, ultra wideband, 5G, super fast 5G, awesome. 4 gigabits a second, 5G, make sure you upgrade to 5G, 5G. it's the iPhone 12 5G. with 5, 5G, they've got a re new design, design looks exactly like the iPhone 4, except now it's got 5G, they've redesigned the antennas around the phone, so when you hold it wrong, you're not holding it wrong anymore, 5G, 5G. it's got a 27% better, not 26, not 25, not 28, 27%, 27 better Camry and a camera and camera. a 50% larger camera sensor. 27% 5G iPhone 12, amazing. Buy now, buy now, buy, buy now. Buy, buy make now. sure you buy now. Ma no, over. no, no. Make sure you buy now because if you don't buy now, it's going to be worth a whole lot less in the future. And if you <laughs> buy it, then you're, you're done. You might as well wait for the iPhone 13, right? <laughs> Where it fixed up all the 5G stuff. You got 6G, 12G, 25.
You reckon it's worse? Good. That was I weird, know. isn't it? Is it working? I don't know. I don't know. Are we back? Guys? I don't know, guys. You guys, we're back. Like, this is so I said, I said something too many times. Oh, okay, okay, we're back. We're back. Hey, we're back. We made it back. Oh, that was a bit loud. That was weird. That was, you know, the fun. The comments are so hilarious. I gotta say, uh, (laughs) there's like another way to say it. I said the words too much. Just say G. I said it too much. I was so. Why did you miss the keynote? Why did you have to say? I said it too much. I said it too much. That's hilarious. I did. I did say it ten times in a row, man. I did say it ten, said ten times in a row. I wasn't even this thing. I was just saying what Apple was saying, man. That was. Oh my god. That, that was. was uh, <laughs> if that's true, then that was crazy. My Wi-Fi was completely fine. My camera still had battery life. That was. Uh, I think they dropped you to review you. Maybe. I think that's it. <laughs> I'd be surprised. No, no, I don't need it, man. I don't, my Wi-Fi is completely fine. My camera is completely fine. Your laptop's good. Yeah, my laptop's Your fine. On, yeah, I didn't have to reset it or anything like that. I was chatting to you guys in the comments. I don't know what happened there. That was insane. I said it too many times, man. That was weird, but you did say it like literally. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. That is like okay, we didn't like doctor that. That was literally live on. You guys are live with us right now. <laughs> That is just a prime example of what happens if you say that word too many times. But we did get a request. Someone said they wanted to see us topless when we came back, so... Oh. No. <laughs> <It's not laughs> you, you got us excited there, actually. I was like, yeah, go on. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> oh, God. You need 5G. And your MacBook Pro needs Wi-Fi 6. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I'm getting an Ethernet plugged in, man. I'm not using this Wi-Fi stuff. Every oh, single one solar comes along and says, whoa, we got this new technology. It's called Wi-Fi. You can access every, you can turn on your air conditioning when you're out of the house, you know. You can unlock your door when you're out of the house. I'm like, why do I want to do this? I don't want to do this. So, <laughs> you do know everything you're giving me. You're also giving to a hacker. Oh, and he goes, yeah, God. yeah, yeah. Their son was messing around with air conditioning from his room. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh. That's well, crazy, man. I can't believe what just happened there. That was weird. So good. I think we've been chatting for a long time now. Yeah. Does anyone want to know anything before we tune out? It's uh, officially 6 a.m. We're going to go on a nice, long one-hour walk. Nice. We started walking. I want to do at least 10,000 steps walk. a day. I want to walk. I feel like slimming down. I want to do some cool stuff. So what are you guys going to be doing today? What, what, well, let what me know. time is over there? Yeah. I think someone's going for their nighttime cigarette. They said, just want to ask you. <laughs> John Doe. <laughs> Like this guy, it's so cool. Said, just get my little night lamp, night time, send my little singing that yeah. year. He said, just want to ask, yeah. is the stream over so I can go and grab my bedtime cigarette? Yeah, go for it. Go for it, John. Bedtime. Enjoy yourself. Bedtime. Always smoke responsibly. Oh, he's probably one of those, you know, you know the plant smokers. Oh, oh okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's, all, that's cool. James, I probably James. need that stuff. <laughs> I've never James, tried it. Right. James Westman said, I got bored with the Apple stream. Was there any arm stuff? No. That, well, they were saying that they got the Apple A14 Bionic processor. It's got like a four-core GPU, a 16-core, was it machine learning, co-processor, a six-core CPU, ARM, ARM, ARM. It's the fastest ARM processor. It's 50% faster than the old ARM processor that it had last year. So that's the kind of ARM stuff. Nothing to do with the Macs. Hmm, I was so excited, so man. I was so excited. So sorry. Especially after reviewing the Razer Blade Pro. Because that's got a 10th gen Intel CPU. And the, the MacBook Pros that they're currently selling have the 9th gen CPUs. So it's like, Apple, you're over a year behind. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> they never did it. I got so disappointed. Oh, my God. I love it. Um, where are you walking to, Ash? I'm just going to be walking around the park. We found them. Um, we moved out into the bushland area. Bushland. <laughs> it was inspired by the words I cannot say. We're trying to get as far away from, you know, places as possible. And uh, it was really funny because I was walking through the fields. It was just like a movie. Me and I had to film this stuff. But we were like walking through the plant fields and the, the what were they called? The, the, the haystacks? Like or? The, yeah, there was like almost like corn fields, but it wasn't corn. Yeah, it was and like they were like really over small. two meters. And I was like walking through and we were creeping ourselves out saying, there's a snake and she'd get scared. And I was just constantly walking. And I, I thought I was, yeah, I could have easily got jumped but we turned around it was safe it was good. <laughs> but i need one of these little hacks and just walking through machete just to like uh, one of machete. our one of our neighbors bought like this multi-millionaire yeah. kind of like super mansion and, and and their dad was giving us a tour and it's like this it's amazing so building basically this like lady who was a jewelry shop owner in, from singapore she was a billionaire yeah she bought all of this land and subdivided it into houses and she built her own mansion on and it was like of land big. and she has marble the only thing is that she eventually got in trouble i think here with taxes or something that's and from then, being rich like her daughter was like into like you know, the, the 
B-R-U-G. So she got word. extradited to her country. She's in jail and she's left this house abandoned for like four years. So these guys have moved in. They bought the house for like a penny or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got a good deal. We had a look inside it and there was like marble everywhere. Such like ornate figurines from China. Statues. Statues. They got these, they these got rocks quartz, that look like kryptonite. Stones. It yeah. looks like kryptonite. They got proper like quartz. I think it's quartz or something. Like crystals or something. And they got an amazing view. They got like yeah, a 180 degree like view. Yeah, the size of this house. Like it's but it was like, the pool was like... Um, black. Water. It was black, was yeah, black. yeah. We got ducks problem here. Ducks, yeah. they look cute, but they like to poop. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying the amount of times I clean their poop, like honestly, I, I started scaring them. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the kind of person now runs out with their broomstick and scares away the ducks. I've turned into that person. And it's just like the video games. They actually they see you and then they leg it. <laughs> they, they run. As soon as they hear you, they just run. They know they're up to wow, mischief. And crazy. then they're always ducking around. They're like walking like this. Walking like, they look so cute. They look so cute, they honestly. Cute. They so are cute. cute. They I don't are mind cute. if they poop on the lawn, but don't poop on the pool and in the pool because it turns the pool green. Yeah. I'm just, I'm getting into this green. pool stuff, man. I'm getting William Chu tech. is from Singapore. We went to Singapore Airport. Oh, it was the best like airport in the world. I actually went to Singapore. You got the Titanic we building. There. Yeah, the building. I did it's a beautiful. conference there. Marina, Marina something, isn't it? Marina something. I actually presented. I was, a, I was a tech, one of the top 10 tech startups in the UK. Yeah, I presented there. I met oh, like, uh, like there's like non-stop some, who, who's, who's the biggest um, investment capitalist? Um, Sig Sig. Uh, there's this there's this big um, investment capitalist. I was talking to the guy, just saying, yeah, I'm just a little dude. He was like, big yourself up. They invest in like Facebook and all these kind of like stuff. Oh, Obviously, man. I didn't get the investment. I'm a loser. I lost, but um, I was there. It was an experience. It was fun. It was it was awesome, Singapore. What, what I found interesting whenever I got to Asian countries. I'm not saying this is a bad thing. Like, I'm, I'm just intrigued. Everyone there is Asian and they're cool with it. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. so weird in this country or all the countries I've been to. They're really like, there's all this tension going on. And like, they're very, very Different like, yes, yeah, it's, it's so it's weird. In, but I think in those countries like Singapore, you must have like subcultures. Like, yes, everyone's Asian. Yes, but like you probably England. have like pacts or sects or something like but that. But like everyone was Asian. When I went to China, everyone was Chinese. Obviously there was a bit of foreigners, but like it was normal that everyone was of their country. Yeah, it's it was, nice. It was, it was nice. It was, it's nice to see. Everything's nice. It's good. Well, what is nice is actually going to one of those countries. It's like, it is actually a different experience. Yeah. Whereas when you go from Western country to Western country, it's all the same. Like it's, it's like the same big yeah. shops, it's copy paste, you know, the same sort of systems when it's a bit disorganized when you go to different kind of countries. So what about you coming from Singapore? What, what are you telling me? Oh, because you mentioned, well, you <laughs> yeah, mentioned I'm from Singapore. Singapore. Where in Singapore? Did you know that Singapore is actually Singapore? The country and the city are Singapore. I think you would know this is country. That <laughs> blew my mind. I think you would know I was that like, this is country. I was like, what city am I in? Oh, Singapore. Okay, what country am I in? Singapore. I was like, huh? Oh, goodness. Ash, are you going to get the, uh, the uh, vaccine when it comes out? The vaccine? Don't, I'm not going to say that word. I'm not going to say that word. Don't you, Biden. Why would you do that to What are you doing this to me? What are you doing to me? Oh, God. I support whatever government policy you want to you do. Like, you know, like, I'll take you back yeah. to tech. Yeah. Are you doing a review on the new iMac at any time? <laughs> you know, I wanted to get the new iMac. I really did. I'm not dodging that V question. If you need it, then good for you. If you don't need it, then we, I went to a doctor. Yeah, I'll say this. I went to an actual doctor for um, skin cancer, a skin check. I asked him about, you know, the VAX stuff. He said, yes, 100% get it. And he said, what you do is... You go, you get the dirtiest person, healthiest. The, the healthiest person that you know, and you get them to put their finger in your mouth. So he was doing the, the old mouth. school methods. He was doing the old school methods of actually getting the diseases and building your immunity to it. So not the new technology, he was, he was doing the old school methods. I just found that interesting. It was really interesting. Yeah, yeah legit. <laughs> so he answered it in a clever way. He's like, yes, I 100% support it. I love that stuff. And you play the in the park, and you, you play. And you get the strongest Caesar. And you get his finger and you put it into your kid's mouth. And he was just what basically saying, just run out and play, absorb the stuff, you know, enjoy yourself in, in porn. With these diseases, they're new. I'd leave it, refer it to the experts. Yeah. Uh, why, why are you trying to get me? Like, I've already been, I've already, I've already had my videos like banned <laughs> on this channel, man. What, what do you want to do to me? <laughs> we literally witnessed the stream stopping live, guys. Yeah, I said, no, I said one word. <laughs> you guys don't look at yourselves. <laughs> Elon Musk oh, isn't going to take it. No, his kids aren't. Apparently, apparently this is what... Well, yeah, it's, it's so weird when you, when you explore that topic. It's, it's a hard topic. It's a hard what topic. I want to see is, I want to see unvaccinated people ill. I want to see just like them, rather than people calling people anti-vaxxers, I want them to say, look, he never took his vaccines and he's ill now. And he's, he's I never see that started. I just had a sort of, or whatever I see yeah. is bullying. 
I don't, I don't like people getting bullied. It'd be on nice both to have sides. a clear picture so that somebody can make their own opinions if they want to. No, you don't want that, man, because when you have a clear picture, it's going to confuse people and then they don't want to do the path. It's best to bully people and to do what you want. But well, basically, a lot of uh, something interesting, man. All the rich people are concerned about all these kind of like nonsense stuff, like when it comes to um, smart meters, so like, you know, radiation coming out there, their, their meters. All the rich people are concerned about that stuff. I was so surprised. Like one of the solar installers told me. Like they're all concerned about that. The, the, the non-rich people, they don't care. They just want the cheapest deal. But anyone right? that has money actually cares about their water, cares about all the stuff. Maybe you just have too much money and too much time. Maybe that's it. You've got too much time in your hands. Research. But the strongest people are the ones that don't care about that stuff. Yeah. So for example, when you go to, like if I go to Egypt or if I go to India, diarrhea city, my immune system, my body cannot handle anything. But the people over there are like supermen. They can handle all of that stuff in there. They can... Yeah, I'm with you. I get what you're saying. It's just interesting. It's interesting, isn't it? So now, talking about <laughs> IMAX. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Well, maybe we'll do a tech review on the, um, the, the stuff and see what Do you guys want to see a tech review? How they're made? Should we go into the labs and show you guys? Well, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Do you think you'd be allowed to? Yeah. How? I don't know. I know people. You know people? Yeah. Oh my God, who are you? No, it's, it's tech, isn't it? Anyway, we, we can do that. I'll explore that topic, show you how it's made, show you how it's diagnosed, show you how it's analyticized, all that kind of stuff. It'd be cool. It'd be fun. Check it out. That is awesome. Now, regarding IMAX, I was excited <laughs> on the IMAX. We'll jump in. Tuck is here. <laughs> we're talking the heads of tech. Because we're talking about tech left, right, and center. IMAX, very interesting. I did want one. I still do want one. But the only issue I have is I don't like that the maximum screen size is 27 inches and it still has the old screen design. It's like, what's it? It's got like two big bars all, all around the screen. It's mm. too outdated. You, I, I was going to get an iMac, yeah, isn't you it? Were. You were very close, but you didn't like the bezels. Yeah, the bezels. Mm. I just don't know if I can live with that. Can you live with the bezels? Mm. It's 2020. It's going to look prehistoric when they release the proper iMacs with the ARM chips very soon. I don't know when, but it's, it's going to be very that soon. They haven't upgraded that, you know, given that their iPhones are getting smaller and thinner and well, they want whatever. they want to sell the ARM Max, so they're going to make the sexy design for the ARM Max. So the, whenever the ARM Max come out, there'll be new everything, and yeah. So I do want one. I don't know if I want an ARM Mac anymore, but I, we don't really have much choices because mm. as badly designed the iMacs are, they're still a million times better than every single other all-in-one desktop computer. Microsoft have a close one, the Surface, but it's so expensive, so overpriced. It's, it's mad. If they just made it at a good price point, it will sell like hot, hotcakes. You know the one we tried out? Yeah, it was so definitely. good looking. It was nice. But it's just overpriced. It nice. So I, I'm not sure about IMAX. And the problem is like, if I need to have a big screen with the iMac, I've got to move the iMac to the side. Yeah. And then I've lost the whole, and then I'm, I, I do that with my laptop at the moment. I've got a big screen here. I don't know. I need to sneeze. I got my MacBook Pro here, and I'm constantly having to look right and left. It you just hurts my screen. Pain, I get neck pain and all that kind of stuff. Well, James, who did ask, said he went for the iPhone, the i7, sorry, with the 16 gigabyte graphics for just for Final Cut Pro, hoping to see a big improvement. I'll let you know. There will likely be a lot of software bugs to resolve with the arms to start with. I'd rather have the last of them, last of the known ones, and the first of the new ones. I think that's a good point. As you can see, my co-presenter has disappeared. <laughs> He's done a runner. <laughs> he's like, I'm out of here. I'm not doing this anymore. No, alas, he's coming back very shortly, guys. Because this is live, the guy just needs to take a quick break because he's just been talking a very, very long time. And he needed to sneeze. But do not fear because you're no longer stuck with me. He is back. Please give a big round of applause I for anyone, Ash. Woo! I don't think anyone cares about me. They want to see you. You're the good no, one. No, no, no. There's so much love on you guys, here. Guys, I told you last night, I was cleaning the pool cleaner. <laughs> I was trying to di diagnose what's going on. I have no idea what, what world I've got myself into. When I lived in an apartment, it was so nice. I walked in, there was a desk I could sit on, I could go on the internet and just enjoy my life. Here, whenever I walk in, there's like problems. I got problems. Pro like everything needs fixing. She's been painting the walls nonstop. Oh my God. Probably gonna, it's more than just gonna get ill from that stuff, but hope that she oh. made, oh, she painted the room so good. She knows how to use caulking. She knows how to use the skirting. Yeah. So I, much stuff I, you learn. What was this? What was all this? What's that? What's that stuff that you put in and stuff with the shutters? That weird word that you use. You know oh, the top. I don't remember. Yeah, it's all Some these stuff. random words. Some stuff. And if you don't know the words, the tradies, the people that fix, they try to rip you off. They they you they, have to they, learn they know their language. They like you double. They language. double the price. You they know that you don't know. Mm -hmm. They know you don't know any better. So you need to learn <laughs> the lingo. So my brain has been overloaded with all this nonsense that I never knew about before, and I was just. Yeah. It was cold, you know, the, 
It was, yeah. I was, it's true. It's true. I'll tell you something funny, Ash. Yeah. Joe <laughs> says, Joe. Joe Biden oh, says, the sniffer. <laughs> Joe, the sniffer, Biden. <laughs> you can't sneeze on camera because they'll test you. And uh, someone else said, Steve Random stuff said, he sneezes, he has the Rona. Oh, wait, that's Steve. Then, Steve, make sure you check out his channel, Steve Random stuff. He makes the best, honestly. He's, he's a legend. He's got like the coolest setup. He's got like the most amazing music systems. He's got a NAS. He's wired oh, up wow. his house. He's, he's the That's cool awesome. dude. Do you know the cool dude? Oh, yeah, comments on Heads of the State. Yeah. Seen, yeah, he's that cool. Yeah. You're awesome. You're awesome. Yeah, Steve, he's, he's the he's man. Cool he's, cool he's, cool check out his channel, Steve Random Stuff. No, I don't have, well, I have a sneeze. When did sneezing <laughs> have to equate to be <laughs> stuck at home for two weeks? <laughs> you know, maybe, you know, what's going to happen? Because I remember HIV was like a big taboo one 20 years ago. Everyone, like, if you had HIV, oh no, you're a bad person. But now it's like, you have HIV, join the club, here you go, get a medal. So maybe in 20 years' time, anyone that has a, the, the C virus will get a medal as well. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, tumbleweed. we seem to have gone off topic again. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> oh, Technology, goodness, isn't it? Um, James said, there will be likely a lot of software bugs to resolve on the arms to start with. I'd rather have oh, the last man. of the known ones oh, than the man. first of the new ones. It's tough, man, because if you want to do work, 100% agree with you. If you want to show off, 100% disagree with you. How are you supposed to show off? I've got the new ARM MacBook Pro. Sports, none of the plugins are used for work, but check out this video. <laughs> yeah, look. I love, I love reviews of MacBook Pros, like especially the, the, the fanboys. They're so good. They always have like this like camera swooping angle. Yeah. <laughs> and have like a little pan. And up and down. <laughs> a little and pan. Around. And also like a dub voice. The MacBook Pro with Touch 4 has 15.6 inch display. 4K experience and they have all these like these like romantic you know kind of like stuff it's uh we like we like um, watching it just to just make fun, fun yeah it's make really fun, fun of them yeah, yeah, yeah it's cool sin oh, bench man. score of 2000 and geek bench score of 2000 and i'm like a anyway what are we talking about are, anyway, we, actually, are we are we done we i think we're done i think let's wrap it up so what have you learned from today's live stream i think i've learned i shouldn't say that word live because uh, that stop your channel. no that could have been a coincidence i only said that word Ten times and <laughs> <laughs> and then suddenly your stream drops. Okay, maybe. it's dropped again. <laughs> oh god! It's gonna drop. No, no. Dream drop, but it's all good. You can just say goodbye then. If it's well, anyway, yeah, amazing chatting with you guys. Yeah. Uh, like when, when I started this, this uh, stream, I was like, no one cares about this iPhone 12 because I didn't care about it. But it seems like two people out there at least care about it. <laughs> <laughs> they all seem to already have iPhone 11 Pros. Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone not have an iPhone 11 that wants the iPhone 12? That's weird. It's a good question it? to ask because everyone upgrades anyway every year routinely. I think it's peer pressure as well. You know what's good is it's like I remember a couple of months ago everyone was concerned about something else, but like now it seems to be like when Apple released the iPad a few months ago, it was like yeah things are moving back. Obviously they're doing the the events live, they're doing a stream, so it's like a pre-recorded video, so it doesn't look as uh, as real. There's no crowd, but things are coming back. Yeah. You, know, the, you get to spend your money. Again, yes. yeah, you got money now, you know, stuff's happening, there's gonna be Christmas sales, oh, January yeah. sales. Oh Save my god. What's up? Black Friday? Yeah. Are people gonna like be like you know, oh. black day or they always are they gonna be I wearing masks? Just be, like, has to be online what are they gonna do? Because don't they don't they they're usually, not allowed to they're gonna be quarantined. There's like, like a big queue distance. usually and yeah. they usually fight. People and, die, don't they? Like the stampede. Yeah, from stuff. from stampedes, <laughs> not from anything else. So that's gonna oh be interesting. God. Christmas time, whether it gets Well, hot. you know what, guys? You can follow all here on Heads of Tech. Follow Ash up. is going to be doing all of, the <laughs> all of the videos. And don't forget, he has got a channel called Heads of Estate. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. He's got some awesome videos there of how to do your house up, how to, how to build a wall, an auction a build house. A build a Joe the Sniffer. Check this out, man. I got a, I got a video on how to erect a concrete wall. I built yeah. a, a wall. It's, coming it's like soon. 25 meters long, straight, big, beautiful you don't wall. Miss out. Putting a mailbox inside. I'm gonna put gates up, you know, oh. iron gates. You know, <laughs> yeah. I'm building like a becoming a real estate developer. I'm so proud of myself. It's gonna look oh gorgeous. 
like the neighbors were like saying, oh, is that going to look like a prison? And now they're saying, oh, that looks kind of good, you know. They all so, want to build their own wall. Yeah, they are. They're like, they're they're, 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 yeah, they're all saying, I want to build a wall now too. Yeah. It looks kind of nice. It I'm like saying, nice. no, it's not perfect. It needs to be a bit straighter I and all that kind of stuff. Good. So yeah, I'm not officially a wall builder. There you go. I got quotes, you know, I got quotes of like loads of money and got it here and I'm negotiating and did all that kind of stuff. Yes. And you can follow those adventures on Heads of Estate, right? Uh, that's, that's Heads awesome. of Estate. Um, Heads of Tech, we're talking about tech stuff. Remember, I do networking. I got this big 60, this was over a thousand dollars. You want to know what it is? Officially, Netgear business. Some business is going to happen here. Ooh. Going to be installing some security cameras. Going to be installing some intercoms, you know, all these kind of good stuff. Solar panels got down the line. An amazing futuristic keyboard that's coming very soon. Fan cooler, solar panels, ducted air conditioning. Oh my God, I got too much. <laughs> Set up a studio, we're still working on our studio, Nora's been painting it, making sure it's nice and clean and all that kind of good stuff. Yes. So what are you guys doing out there in the world? What's, what's been happening? Oh, we're leaving now. Hope you guys found this amazing video, entertaining, and I hope you guys, you know, get the iPhone 12. Let me know how good it works. Make sure you hold it right, because if you hold it wrong, it may be more consequential. Oh my goodness, mate. <laughs> I'm sure they test today, it's all completely fine. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Talio, you there, mate? I'm right next to the microwave, and look at it. 300 to 400 milliwatts per meter squared. All right, there you go.